Facebook YouTube. So, today I'm going to do a review on the Fake Bake Flawless Self Tanner. There's the box. Okay, so this comes in a six fluid ounce bottle, and the bottle looks like so. Forgive my lighting. I try to get as true to exactly what color I am, and that way you guys can see exactly what it does. But I mean, there's a little glare. But anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and start. Let me explain a little something to you here. The uh, the Fake Bake brand they also have like mousse and self tanning lotion those kinds of things. This in fact is in a spray bottle and it does come out like brown liquid. Um, it's a decent sized bottle. I could use a bigger bottle because I really love self tanner. Um, it comes with a mitt. Mine is filthy because I've used it so much. I really don't use this side often but it got dirty anyway. But anyhow, that makes for a really smooth easy application. And also in your box you will get, well there's the lid, and you'll get your standard blue gloves and that um, is to keep it from getting on your hands because although the mitt is you know it's fairly thick still you run the risk of getting it on your hands and you know you don't want it on the palms of your hands and stuff. It also comes with instructions which I threw in the trash. But anyway now um, I'm not going to go through all the ingredients in it because you know I hate when people do that it drives me nuts. Um, I will tell you that it's paraben free so supposedly that's a good thing and um, yeah I'm going to have to rate it you know 10 being the best self tanner ever and you know 1 being the worst I'm going to have to give it an 8.5 or 9 uh, nothing's perfect but um, the only complaint that I would have with this is that it doesn't last as long as I would like it to it lasts me a few days but I end up having to reapply which is fine it just takes a second, but still, you know, I'd like it to last a little longer. But it's way better than going to bacon in a tanning bed and, you know, putting yourself at risk for lots of wrinkles and skin cancer and all that kind of thing. And, you know, I am a tanning bed fanatic, or was, and I started going when I was 13 and I'm 38. So it's a long, daggone time to be in the tanning bed. So I decided, you know, that I'm going to take a whole different route. So, anyway, on with the review. Um... Let's start with the most important thing that everybody always wonders about self tanners, and that's color. I will say 110% that there is no orange involved with the Fake Bake Flawless. I can't speak for any other Fake Bake products. I haven't used them, but there is no orange whatsoever. Um, the application goes on easy. It is a spray. Uh, you control it. Um, when you spray it on, it is brown, and that's because it has instant tanning in it that is a color guard. Now, what that means is it's brown when it goes on so you can see where you're putting it on. That way it's goose proof. You know what I mean? That way you're less apt to streak yourself because you can see where you're putting it. And a lot of reviews said, you know, oh, it was just frighten frighteningly dark when they first put it on and it freaked them out, but I didn't find it to be all that dark. It wasn't bad at all. And then, of course, you know, once you put it on in a few hours, it's like with all self tanners, it gradually gets darker and once you take a shower the next morning and you'll kind of want to maybe do it at night, you can do it in the day, it doesn't matter. Um, it dries fairly quickly. You can throw your clothes right on. Wouldn't put on white just because, in case. But you know, I use mine in the daytime, not times it's whenever, and uh, put my clothes on straight away. But anyway, um, it does gradually get darker. So um, once you take a shower, like I said, the next day or whatever, you will see color come off, and that's because that's the color guard, color guide, or whatever. That's what comes off in the shower. So what you're left with is your gradual tan that came on over a matter of hours. Now, I cannot stress enough, and everybody on all the reviews do, and they're exactly right, the main thing when you're self-tanning is the way you prepare your skin beforehand. Everybody knows that, you know, dead skin, you know, is shed constantly. So you're going to want to make sure that you get, you know, like a really good body scrub or a good loofah or whatever. Make sure you scrub yourself very good. Make sure it's smooth and silky and ready to go before you tan because if not, your tan's not going to last at all, right? And you're going to be patchy and that's where all that comes into play. So, you definitely want to make sure you do that. Let's see. Moving on. The application, like I said, was very easy. Um, it dries pretty quick, so you want to kind of move fast. 
Also, I forgot to mention, I should have wrote all this down. But anyway, um, let me just let me just do this instead. First thing you want to do before you tan, okay, once you get your product in the mail or whatever, or you go buy it at the store, you want to take a shower, you want to exfoliate like crazy, okay, you want to make sure that you're completely dry. You then want to take some lotion of your choice and you want to moisturize your elbows, your wrists, between your fingers, your knuckles, your knees, behind your knees, the bend of your arm, and also I have found you might want to put a little in your belly button because you don't want product to gather in those areas which is what gives you that rusty appearance. So like I said, this stuff is not orange, but you still don't want to be like super dark on your elbows and stuff. That's, you know, nobody wants that. Now, once you have moisturized and done all that kind of thing, then you can start applying the product. And as I said, it goes on, you know, easy breezy. You just spray it on. You rub it in all over neck face. You want to get all up in your ears and behind your neck. And, you know, you may want to get somebody to help do your back. I kind of just do myself, but I mean, you can get help. Anyway, and also, I forgot to mention, because I never do these things in order, but anyhow, you also want to make sure you moisturize around your feet, um, the main back of your feet where your heel is, with that little, I don't know, that weird hard thing that connects your foot to your ankle, and uh, your ankles, and between your toes, and your toe knuckles. You want to get those moisturized too, because you don't want product gathering there either. But anyhow. I'm the worst review person ever on it. Okay, so once you put the product on and you're all done, and you want to, at the end, do your hands because you're going to have to, you know, switch the mitt to do everything on each side and such. Um, you know, at the end, you want to take the mitt, spray a couple sprays on the mitt, just kind of go down your hands and make sure everything's, you know, rubbed in well. Uh, then it's just a matter of um, time. I mean, you'll look instantly, you'll have color, but then as time goes on, the color will get deeper. And then, like I said, once you take a shower, some of it will rinse off, but not a great deal. You know, just, you know, you'll notice it in the water. And um, then what you're left with is tan. And I hate that there's a glare here because you can't, you can't get the whole gist of the color I am. But anyway, I will also say that it does not smell disgusting like the fake tanners I've used before. Um, a lot of them have a real chemically smell, like the Hawaiian Tropics, the Radiance, Island Radiance. I did a video on that as well. The color's good on it. The smell is horrendous. I just, I will use it again probably at some point, maybe. But not a big fan of the smell of that one. Um, so it smells like I'm tanning lotion, sort of. Uh, it's not like the best smell in the world, but it's not bad. It smells good. It's fine. Um, I'm trying to think. Also, the price. Um, I got mine on eBay for around $22.50, $23. You can also get it on Amazon. Um, a lot of people have stores that carry it, but we don't around here where I'm at. So, um, get it online. It's just as easy. Uh, actually, easy. You don't even have to leave the house. Um, it does not have SPF in it, so, you know, it's not going to protect you from getting a sunburn. So, don't be uh, fooled by that because it's not going to help stop anything like that. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a fantastic tanner. I am hooked on it. I'm actually, to be honest with you, I have used probably half the bottle. I saw a girl on here on YouTube say that she uses it like for three months. But maybe I'm just a um, obsessive over self tanner. But, anyway. but as you see, I don't believe I look orange. You could have clear view. Yeah. Actually, I'm darker than what this is showing. It's just, it's annoying that you can't get the full effect. But anyway, it just makes you look tan. I mean, it's just that simple. I look as tan as if I had went to the tanning bed, you know, a good eight, ten times. And because of this glare, you cannot tell. But it is a natural color. Like I said, it's not orange. And a really important um, factor to me is I suffer from rosacea. And I don't just get the little flush of pink. I break out. And uh, I can't wear foundation because of it. But this stuff does not break me out. That doesn't mean it won't you, but it does not seem like it's very harsh. And let me tell you something. Not only does it not break me out, but it has actually somewhat helped clear my skin up. So, two thumbs up for that point. So, overall, yeah, it's a great self-tanner. I would suggest trying it at least once. Uh, I would like to try other ones just because, you know, I just like to try different stuff and 
um, see how it goes. But as far as the fake bake, the flawless, it's a winner in my book. So go out and get you some and try it out. And um, a friend of mine, Kathy, had asked uh, about putting it on your face. And yes, you can put it on your face. They also sell a product called Faces, I think, or something like that. You can look it up on eBay or something. Um, but yeah, this stuff's fine. You can put it on your face. Just make sure, you know what I mean, that you exfoliate good and then, you know, wipe it all over and get it all nice and even. But yeah, I use it on my face all the time. So, that's it, guys. Um, if I forgot anything, I'm sorry. But make a long story short, fake bake, thumbs up, love it. So again, fake bake, flawless. Look for it. Or live around here. Get on eBay. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to go. And by the way, I just took a shower and put it on, so I will actually gradually get off the window. So I'm so happy. <coughs> okay, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Happy painter.